This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. The Queen arrives in Northern Ireland. Can you give me a pull, she asked, and the Governor-General, Lord Wakehurst, obliged. Despite the heavy rain, a big crowd turned out for the occasion. Before driving into Belfast, the Queen and the Duke spent a short while looking round Carrickfergus Castle, built in the 12th century. In Belfast, the Queen visited the factory of a leading linen manufacturer. Irish linen is famous all over the world, and the industry is of great importance to the country's economy. The name Harland and Wolf is a byword for fine ships. Her Majesty got a great welcome when she arrived to tour the company's yards. The shipbuilding industry is Northern Ireland's biggest employer. The royal visit coincided with the regatta of the Royal Ulster Yacht Club. At the club, Her Majesty was received by the Vice Commodore and watched the racing. With his appetite for the briny sharpened by sailing at the recent cow's regatta, the Duke was out in cowslip in spite of uncertain weather. Later, however, it brightened up and he and crewman Uffa Fox discarded their sailing jackets. Back on shore, the Queen presented a cup to the winner of one of the races. Then they embarked for the trip back to Britannia, lying a mile offshore. The Queen and the Duke were to go on to Scotland, where after fulfilling several public engagements in resorts and fishing towns, they were to have a holiday.